We go to Court Clopping now in the Storm Tracker Weather Center tracking forecast for today. That's right, and Linda, it's a change of pace on the horizon. Get your umbrella ready to go. Plan on giving yourself extra time to get to where you're going because I'm tracking wet and cooler weather on the horizon for today. The chance for some more limited showers through the middle of the work week and then heavier rainfall returning Friday and lasting into your upcoming weekend. So a soggy forecast out there as we head through the middle of November. Live look outside this morning from the Sundial Bridge in Redding. Dry right now, but that's not going to be the case throughout the entire day. In fact, from about an hour and a half from now through midday, shower chances looking very promising for the Redding area and for a lot of the valley. At the moment, we're hovering for the most part in the low to mid 40s in the valley. The exception is Orville starting out at 51 degrees, 46 for Chico, 45 in Redding and Red Bluff. We're in the 40s in the foothills, 20s to 30s in most mountain zones. Wind out of the east to 5 to 6 miles an hour this morning. Winds mostly out of the north today, or excuse me, out of the north up to around 15 miles an hour for those gusts. We will be seeing those gusts subsiding overnight into early tomorrow, but still the south winds kicking back in and then mostly lighter winds through the middle of the work week. After that, we're going to see winds staying fairly modest on Thursday, but picking up a little bit Friday into Saturday. Satellite and radar, your hyper local look showed you that we do have showers that I'm tracking for you far along the far west side of Tehama, Glen and Shasta County areas. Showers already making their way into the northern mountains of Trinity County, and this is all from this low pressure rotating off the coast in the Pacific, drawing that moisture in. That's why we're seeing showers moving from south to north. It's that orientation of that rotation off the coast that's continuing to drive that potential for active weather across our region. So your hyperlocal future cast showing you at 8 a.m. Showers starting to intrude into Butte, Glen, and Tehama County zones by noon. It looks likely showers are mostly hung up along the west side of the valley after a brief brush through Butte County mid-morning. Towards the afternoon, though, shower chances mostly fizzling out for the valley with the exception of some scattered showers on the far west side. Northern Mountain still seeing some showers at 5 p.m. Overnight, a little clearing, but still cloudy overhead and then cloudy to start your Wednesday. Shower chances increasing again towards the Wednesday evening time frame. And then it looks like a chance for showers mostly in the mountains Thursday. Some showers brushing through the valley briefly in the morning hours. Friday, shower chances increasing heading into the evening. Widespread showers Friday night through Saturday. And then that mostly wraps up by Sunday. And we're left with dry weather for the latter half of the weekend. Rain totals for today. It looks like a trace of rain on the east side of the valley up to a tenth of an inch along I-5 in the valley. And those totals getting up to around a quarter of an inch in the northern mountains. We'll end up with a little bit more on the way over the next couple of days. The lion's share of that heading into Trinity County and then late this weekend of this weekend. Linda, get a look at this. Rainfall totals projected to top an inch and a half in parts of the valley over an inch across the board. Almost an inch for the northern mountains over an inch and a half for parts of the foothills and around three quarters of an inch of rain in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Today, temperatures topping out in the upper 40s to lower 50s in the northern mountains, 40s to lower 50s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, 50s in the foothills. And if you're in the valley today, temperatures mid 50s to lower 60s, 56 degrees in Redding, 57 for Red Bluff, 60 in Chico and 62 for Orville. Temperatures are much cooler today than what we ended up with yesterday afternoon. We'll then see temperatures warming up a bit over the next couple of days with mid to upper 60s Wednesday into Thursday in the valley. A slight chance for showers Wednesday, not as likely Thursday, and then rain returning Friday lasting into Saturday before we dry out for Sunday. Great news if you're looking to head out to the Christmas preview in downtown Chico this weekend. All right.